Nearly a decade ago, NASA's rover got stuck on Martian soil, effectively ending its mission. It's something a team at Concordia is trying to help avoid. It's a dizzying ride, a roller coaster of parabolic arcs aboard this Falcon 20 aircraft, an unconventional and uncomfortable way of trying to replicate Martian gravity. We call these types of aircraft vomit comets uh, for, for good reason, <laughs> as a few of us, including myself, uh, did in fact uh, find out. On board, all eyes are on that large box in the middle of the plane. It's used to test the prototype of a rover wheel. We're driving that wheel through simulated Martian soil. So below the wheel we have a sandbox that's filled uh, with this material, uh, which is a light fluffy sand um, that mimics some of the more difficult terrains um, that you might encounter on Mars. They're monitoring two things, traction and sinkage, with the help of a high-speed camera. Through which we can observe, via this mirror, right into the sandbox. And we can see how the wheel is churning up the soil um, as it drives uh, on that material. His findings, expected next spring, will help the European Union and Russia get ready for their mission on Mars in 2020. Anthony Nerestan, CBC News, Montreal.